Good morning, everybody. Naftali speaking. Welcome to today's session, Four Pillars in Four Days. And we want to make sure that you have your best life from now going forward. So today I'm just reminded of the day, the 18th of September 2023, the day I left my office uh, while I was still serving in the military in tears, crying literally tears. And I had to make a prayer when I left the base that day to say, God, you know, the only thing that keeps me coming to this place is my family who must eat. But if this is how I'm going to work in this place, I can even terminate my service today. That is the prayer I made when I was leaving that base on that day in the vicinity of 11 in the morning. In tears, crying. Then 10, 12 days later, on the 29th of, of, of the same month, September 2023, I was praying in my office and God said to me, just resign, get out of this place. And I obeyed. I decided that I'm terminating my service with the Department of Defense. And here I am today and I am happy. I'm, I'm happy. If I didn't do that, I would still be crying until today. So maybe, maybe you are here, you are facing the same situation in your work. You are crying and you say, the only thing that keeps me coming to this place is because my family must eat. You need to get out of that place before it is too late. So, yeah, we said we want to make sure that you have the best life in 2024 and beyond. So, remember, we are here Tuesday to Friday, 8 a.m., and we are live on TikTok. We have a replay on uh, Facebook, uh, Naftali Rantos Solutions business page, and we are also having uh, on uh, YouTube the replay, uh, Naftali Focus Talk, and we're also going to post a replay on this same channel also naftali over camaranto tiktok and we are going to also post it there so remember if if we, we 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 talk about these four pillars the first one being the pillar in your in your spiritual life your relationship with god the second one being the pillar in your family your relationship with your neighbor and then the third one being the the, the, the the pillar of your health, you getting well, your well-being, very important. We spoke about this yesterday. And today it is Friday. We talk about the pillar in your finances, the last pillar of the four. So I want to say here today, the principles, what financial independence will do for you, it, it helps you to reduce stress and, and anxiety. So achieving financial independence uh, can, can, can significantly uh, reduce your stress and anxiety relating, relating to money. Knowing that one has the resources to cover expenses, emergencies, and future needs provide a sense of security and peace of mind and leading to improved mental health and well-being. I can tell you, I am, I am well today. I've never felt the way I feel now. When I was still employed, working for a, saving the country in the military, I never felt the way I feel these days. I feel amazing. I just came back from a 10-kilometer run this morning, nicely joking, and just in 55 minutes. I couldn't do this when I was still at work because I will be, my mind will be very stressed. I will be working under a severe pressure. And not because I'm doing something wrong, but I'm doing good. But I get pressurized for doing that. Now, also this financial independence will give you greater control over your lifestyle. Greater control over your lifestyle. So do you want to have control over your lifestyle? Your lifestyle? So financial independence allows you as an individual to design your desired lifestyle according to your preferences and priorities. So you can say, I wake up, I go to jog, I go to run, I go to church, I go to play with my kids, I take my kids to school, I do whatever that is your that is fulfilling you, whatever that makes you happy. When you have financial independence, you are able to live your life according to that. Whether it is living in a certain location, you choose where you want to stay, or spending time with your family, or enjoying leisure activities, you want to play golf. You want to go and, and, and just do cycling. You want to go and do mountain climbing. You, you, want to, you want to do those things. So financial independence provide you, provides the autonomy to shape one's lifestyle according to personal values and goals. Imagine that. What if you could live life the way that you want? What if you could design your own lifestyle and say, when I wake up in the morning, this is my routine. Without anyone having to call you, without you having to rush onto traffic because you want to reach somewhere before you become late, you say, I want to make it on time. What if you could live a life like that? 
So that is what we are talking about. We say, don't, you, you, you are worth better than what you are earning now. You know, yesterday I was, I was listening to a conversation of some people talking. And one was crying, saying, you know, I, the way, way I'm working now, we, we, we earn something like, like, like 700, sometimes a thousand in a week. And, and she said, I, I'm tired of this place. The only thing that keeps me going here, it is because I have kids that must eat. And I, I had to sit back and reflect on my life. I said, that is where I used to be a, a few a few months ago. I was in that same position. But I had to take a, 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 an unpopular decisions and for me to be out of that condition. So if you don't change the way you are doing things, you will remain in that state that you are. I don't know until when, until you decide to change. So you are the one that has to bring a change in your life. The government will not bring a change for you. You have to bring a change. So listen to this story of in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter number 20 verse 17. As you are in, a, in your pursuit to fight for you to have a better financial life. Listen to this. It says verse 17. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. So this was the time when Jehoshaphat was facing a battle. There were enemies coming against him. But one thing he did well, he inquired of the Lord when that situation was coming. He inquired of the Lord. He said, what are we going to do? You took us out of Egypt to bring us to this land. Now the enemies are coming. And God sent the prophet, the man of God, to tell Jehoshaphat, you are not going to fight this war. You must just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So he said, tomorrow go against them. So I don't know what you are facing, my sister. I don't know what you are facing, my brother. But one thing I want to say to you, it is today. You are listening to me today. I'm saying tomorrow, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So trust God today and you will see. He will fight your battles. You don't need to fight. You don't need to defend. You don't need to arm. You don't need to go and, and, and have an illegal weapon so that you can defend yourself and shoot someone. You're going to go to jail. You'll be arrested. But if you take this battle and you give it to God and say, God, I don't care what will happen to me. As long as I know you are with me, that fulfills me. That makes me to be relax my heart pressure my blood pressure will not be up and down because of the enemies let the enemies do what they do best remember there's no need to prove a point if you know who you are you don't need to prove a point when people ask you what where do you get your confidence you said i don't need to explain that to you because a fish in the water it doesn't need to prove itself that it, is, it can swim it just swims so you don't need to prove anything to anybody. So stop proving anything to anybody because you don't, you don't need to do that. Just live your life, be happy, and live according to your purpose. May God bless you. Have a great one. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching me now on TikTok. You can follow my channel. You are watching me on Facebook. Follow my page there, business page, Naftali Ranto Solutions. Or you are watching me on, on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel so that you can not miss. And don't forget to also comment and share with your friends. Share with those you love. Share with those, even with your enemies. Yes, very soon I'm going to make one special video for my enemies, those that wanted to see me down. I'm going to make a video for you. I hope if you are watching me now and you know you have done something, I'm going to highlight what you did to, to me, not to put you to shame, but just to open your mind to show you what you did not understand. I'm going to make a video very soon on that. I, I'm still praying, asking God to give me wisdom because I don't want to destroy. I want to build somebody. So, ladies and gentlemen, our next event here in Bloomfontein is this, this coming Thursday. On the 13th of, I say again, on the 14th of the month of this one that we are on is March. We're going to be here in, in Rockland. Reach out to me for you to be part of that event. We are looking for people that want to make a difference. People that want to make an impact. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. Have a great day and I'm signing out. Goodbye.